Hello again, doing a bit more turn to 28, looking at some of the special units you get for various cults you can choose. I decided to go with the Procession of Woe, which has a root shrine, which is open to interpretation, but given I had the turnip pope, I thought I'd go for kind of a holy relic worry type thing, being dragged on a giant cart by some kind of horrible monster. To begin with, I made a template for the cart by using some foam core and cutting it into rectangles. Then taking some hot glue, I glued it together. I also put a curved piece on the front, so you get a bit of a platform, and maybe look a bit like a pulpit at the front. Using a pointy tool, I carved out the shape of some windows, so you could have some kind of arrow slits or gun ports in the side. Not quite decided yet, but I'll figure out later. The upper part of the wagon will be made from wood, so taking some wooden coffee stirrers and some mod podge and gluing them down. I trimmed them to varying sizes so you'd have approximately half a guy standing at the top behind cover. Taking my bag of surplus bases, I then scuffed them up using a knife as well as the pointy end of a file. Once I was happy that these had been suitably scuffed up and battle damaged, I took some more Mod Podge and glued them onto the lower half of the wagon to make some armour plating. Then using a cross beam made from another coffee stirrer, I glued a beam over the top of the join so it would blend together. Where there are a few gaps between the wooden plating that I wanted to seal up, I took some Vallejo ground texture paste and used it as a kind of corking to glue the bits together and fill any of the gaps. It being turned up 28, there's a reasonable excuse for mud being everywhere. I gave a similar treatment to the bottom of the armor plating to create some rust and mud buildup. I trimmed a few gaps in the underside of the carriage where I could fit some axles in, then took some bamboo skewers and glued some 3D printed wheels on each end, because wheels are hard to make. These stuck out too far though, so I ended up trimming the middle section of the axles and re-gluing them in place. With most of the wagon now done, I printed out a beast to pull it. So this is from Mias Minis, some kind of weird mutant dog thing with a lizard face, which felt kind of appropriate. And I created a base out of foam core, just taking a rough shape about the right size and beveling the edges with a knife. To give it some texture and some lumpiness, I took some sculptor mold, mixed up a batch, then poured it over the top, using a tiny spatula and then later my fingers to even it out. To make sure everything would fit later, I took the beast and the wagon and pushed them into the base so I'd get some indentations to line up later. Taking a sculpting tool, I slightly widened the tracks that the wheels had made so it would still fit after I had some texture paste later. To make the relic itself on the back of the car, I took some standard clay and mixed it into a blob shape. 
This clay was slightly too dry to work with, but it was still okay just to bulk out shape. I'm aiming for a large mutant turnip here, possibly with an eye on the middle, and lots of tendrils coming out of it. Using the side of a sculpting tool to add in some rough texture to the sides. While the clay dried, I mixed together a texture paste, out of fine sand, cork block, black gesso, and some PVA glue. Mixing it till it's nice and consistent, then smearing that all over the base and the Mod Podge, which is now dry. Jumping back to the beast pulling the wagon, I took some fine chain and started wrapping it around him, figuring out a decent way to make him a little harness. Once I was happy with the harness, I used some super glue to fix it into position, so I could then sculpt a few of the details and fill some gaps around him. While I had the sculpt mold mixed up, I went in and super glued a bead to the centre of the turnip man then started sculpting and moulding some extra details around him, touching up the places where the clay wasn't quite detailed enough, giving him extra growths, arms, tendrils, as well as re-sculpting the root on top of his head. While that dried, Used some Vallejo earth texture paste to add some more dirt and mud build up to the sides of the wheels, as well as putting a bit of it around the base of the turnip. Then once that was dry, I started priming the entire thing in black gesso. Using a slightly watered down version for the wooden beams, so it would preserve a bit of the natural colour. This was followed up by a layer of burnt umber over the wooden panelling as well as the base. Again, using it slightly watered down to preserve some of the underlying colour. To make the wood appear more natural and worn out, taking some white paint and giving it a very light dry brush, keeping consistent with the direction of the grain. This was also used to give a slight zenith or highlight to the turnip. The armour plating got a coat of dark iron, while trying to keep it off the areas where there was a lot of dirt and rust. The mud on the wheels got a coat of dark umber, so it would blend in with the base. To mould up the woodwork I took some watered down green paint and gave a few glazes over particular sections where I felt it needed it. The turnip man then got hit by a light beige followed by a watered down pink glaze which I gently blended down into the model. For his eye, I was tempted to go with a different colour, but I decided that kind of having a human-esque eye would be kind of creepier. So I went with a white eye with a single black pupil. Then using some watered down black paint to add a bit more depth and shadow onto the edge of the eye. With most of the painting now done, I put some Mod Podge on the base of the wagon and glued it into place, before gluing the dog beast in front of it as well. Using super glue and some tweezers, I then attached the chains to the underside of the wagon.
I also thought it needed a bit more detailing. So I trimmed down some plastic card into squares and triangles, then glued the triangles on top of the squares so I'd make little kind of buttress spike type things. Using a few globs of Mod Podge, I then attached these onto the wooden plating. To add a few banners to the front of the wagon, I took a mixture of Mod Podge and red paint, so you get a lovely kind of orangey, murky colour. Then took some pieces of paper, dipped them in, made sure they were nice and fully drenched. Then ripped them so they'd be a bit more torn, and attached them over the front of the panels. You do need to be a bit careful here so the colour doesn't bleed out, but if you want, you can do them without colour, then paint them on later. Looking back at the spikes, I applied some metallic paint, and used some texture slime on the base, made out of a mixture of flock, and matte mod podge. This was then blended in using watered down dark brown paint, followed by a brown paint on over the top. For the spikes and the metallic sections, I took some watered down orange paint and dabbed it over the top, so you'd get rust pooling in the sections where it naturally would form. To add a bit of contrasting colour to the base, I punched out a few leaves, then used some matte mod podge to attach them to the base. Taking a few choice tufts, I then added them sparingly, primarily sticking to the kind of greeny brown colour scheme. With the final tuft placed, the root shrine was complete. So this can be used as a few different things. If I want to run a different cult, I could just leave the shrine off and put a few guys up there. Potentially use it as something like a proboscis or even a tank potentially. But as it was intended, it's meant to have the turnip pope up there and the root shrine hanging on the back. Yeah, quite pleased with how it came out. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope to catch you next time.